is uh, our top six connectors that we sell. Uh, these pretty much all day long going out the door. Um, we're going to go over each one, what they uh, go to on the vehicles mostly, so you'll be kind of familiar with them. Uh, if you see them, you have an idea of what they already go to and uh, give you kind of a breakdown that way. Um, so what we'll do, we'll start with uh, D81B3. Uh, this connector is going to be uh, used on a lot of stuff. Hyundai Kia is going to be the uh, main uh, vehicles you'll see this on. And what you're going to see mostly is uh, for lamp stuff, so turn signals, daytime running lamp. Uh, people will kind of call it with a fog lamp, um, but what it truly is is going to be more of a combo lamp uh, connector. Um, and uh, so again, this can be three wires, so it can be a lot of your three-wire connectors are going to be turn signal, park lamp, and of course your, your ground. Um, and again, it can be daytime running lamp, fog lamp, option, and then your ground wire in there. Uh, so uh, it's uh, most of your Kias, Hondas will all have this one. Uh, now, a little bit of the late model ones are going to have a different version, um, which we can show uh, later in another video. But uh, again, this one you'll definitely see pretty regularly on these vehicles. Um, another one that you're going to see pretty much all the time is uh, L42B2 and uh, this one is going to be fog lamp, low beam on your Nissans, uh, Infinities, things like that um, and again you will see this on pretty much all of them just about uh, if you have one in the shop and uh, the one thing to keep in mind with with this connector is uh, you may need two of these per side so if it's a Nissan it may have this as the low beam and the fog lamp uh, so you want to kind of keep an eye on that and uh, make sure that uh, you get two if that's what you're needing uh, or both fog lamps get ripped off sometimes uh, that'll happen um, so this connector here again Nissan Infinities uh, for your fog lamps low beams you know the headlamp stuff like that it won't be high beam high beams gonna be a little bit different uh, it actually looks pretty similar almost identical uh, but it's got a gray face instead of the yellow and the, the guide in the middle instead of being cut down it's actually in the center uh, so that's a common mistake also. So for this one, you see that black and yellow one, it is a low beam or fog lamp, like I said, for your Nissans or Infinities. Um, and again, all day long, uh, these are going out the door because they are getting damaged on all those cars when they're getting hit. Uh, our third one here, A81A4. Um, so this one is, again, one y'all probably seen. Uh, Nissan Infinity is going to be one of your biggest ones for this. Um, this is going to be your uh, shutter, is going to be the most common now, uh, it can be for cameras. Um, Nissan will use a 6 pin camera for the front camera or it will use this 4 pin so that's kind of something to keep in mind. If it uses a 6 pin it's two rows of three wires or it uses this 4 pin one um, and uh, again so radiator shutter all day long for Nissan Infinity stuff, uh, your front camera that they're putting on the cars now um, so that every time that car has a front end collision, uh, A81A4 is definitely going to be one that you'll probably be needing. Sometimes you might not know it because the connectors on these could be ripped off. Um, so we do a couple things. You can send us a picture of the part that it plugs into if you have it, uh, or just at least communicate with us, email, chat, however, and uh, we can kind of help guide you to get make sure you get the right one. Again, whether it's that six pin or this version of the uh, A81A4, uh, but this is one you will see all the time. Um, our next one, this is going to be the fourth one, this is Y210B3. Uh, you've probably seen this in some of our other videos that we've done the D-pin and repin uh, stuff on. Uh, very common. Again, this is very big for Nissan um, and uh, actually Toyota Lexus, you're going to see this. So this is going to be another lamp one, um, turn signals, park lamp. Anytime you see the three pin or three wire, we should say, uh, connector. Uh, when we say pin or wire, we mean the same thing. Um, but anytime you see this three wire connector, it's going to be turn signal, park lamp pretty much. Uh, and then again, that third wire is going to be your ground. Uh, but just know that. So some people will call it, uh, you know, your uh, side marker. Um, side markers are usually two pin, so two wires. Uh, turn signal, park lamp are usually a combo lamp, and they'll use the three wire like this one does. And uh, again, if you uh, get a car in with the front end collision, if it's Toyota Lexus or Nissan, like Altima uses these. Um, Altima's kind of weird for the late model Altimas. Uh, they'll have two different versions. Um, 
in which we can figure out that for you if you're not sure if you don't have this on there. So they, uh, for turn signal side markers, they have two sets that they use on theirs. This is the most common one that they, uh, that they use on them though. Uh, next one up, this is going to be uh, L43A2. This is a Kia Hyundai fog lamp. It actually, and some people, you can use them interchangeably. This is also a GM fog lamp style. It's technically a little different. The back lock's a little different, but they can be used interchangeably. You can use our part number B21B2 uh, and L43A2. You can use either one uh, however you want. But this technically would be for Kia Hyundai fog lamps. Um, and yeah, so again, this is one that goes out the door constantly because as you can imagine, anytime you get a front end collision, these are getting ripped off pretty much immediately. Uh, and so yeah, that's one you will see constantly. Just keep in mind, you'll probably need two of these a lot of times. So just kind of check both sides of the car. Uh, it's always good practice. And our last one today, uh, this is one that I'm sure you've seen before. Uh, our part number is a Z27C2. And uh, this one is going to be low beam fog lamp again. A lot of these connectors are used for a few different, you know, functions on these vehicles. Uh, Toyota Lexus, like we've talked about, you'll see this on Hondas, some of your older Hondas, um, you know, mid 2000s, things like that. Uh, but fog lamp, low beam, uh, constantly on those vehicles. So anytime you see that black and green, you'll actually see it on some Subarus. It's going to change color in the Subarus. You're going to see more of a brown and orange, so the outer casing will be brown. The front lock face will be orange. Um, don't worry about the color. We always go by the actual shape of it. Um, in a you know, fog lamp stuff, there's so many different versions that can work on one bulb because uh, they're kind of set up to be that way. If you want to get the exact one for your car, again, of course, that's something we can help you with. We list all that stuff on our vehicle filter on the website. And uh, so Z27C2. Um, Again, for Lexus Toyota, uh, will be uh, very common to see this a lot.